Good morning, fellow Ambazonians. Today, now Wednesday, number five day for this year of 2023. My name na Kapo Daniel, wuna own countryman, Mr. No Koni Lukong, wuna welcome to our daily podcast, a program who would bring wuna the truth, would bring wuna meaningful information, fact based analysis for help we as we work out for this journey to our freedom, to the independence of Ambazonia. Our good people at home and abroad. Today we we'll start with the news where the Cameroon government delegates, where Ambazonian fight at them, they be catch them for inside Momo, they not end up for release them. To talk to our brothers, there is no country without a problem. So they not make out statement. We go come for that later. But first. One of our big students for inside Bali, we na Commander Chakara, the Rankachi, La Republic, the terrorist military, the Rankachi take and go down for inside Bafut Airport. And I want to make all man know because the rank we don't get evidence say the rank try for use it, make it contact some people them. They talk less easy they for few. So now security issue. Make all picking them for Bali. They understand what way they happen and any Bali soldier. Me the Nose Chakara, it don't be compromised either for La Republic and it don't contact a couple of people them. They pretend let's say they for outside. So make any person where they talk with you or if either was on chat group, me gonna move a number immediately. So Chakara it be compromised. And uh, this one are also a lesson for all our students and for Bali. As we don't shake and we outflank these people them for inside town, we don't know it here they talk them, make sure that them they adopt the complete gorilla tactics. Any new soldier where you want to join camp, where you want to join fight now, you need to adopt a new sustainable long-term approach for be a ghost fighter, for fight for your country as a gorilla warrior. We need the static fighters um, anyway. But those who did already show their face for us, with their face, they're born, they could continue to play that role. For the long term, any new fighter where you join fighting for fight for freedom, you need to adopt the ghost approach that is the only sustainable way we need to start for streamline our ideology for things and way it will work and avoid things and way it will be being adjusted for play politics for please diaspora them so man we here make it here properly but first we will go for atlantic state where the die body for that university student ngole linus fonte where la republic du cameroon their military led by moja moja Cameroon B, they be launch attack for a university quarter for minister broke door for morning morning time, movie for inside house, go torture ye, bring it back for quarter, take him, execute him, moja moja go carry die body, stand on top and for road. For all this, why did they deny forgive that die body with all their fake propaganda? Say that they do investigation and they did do justice. They ran deny for release Linus die body for two main reasons. One that said that die body, it will be clearly seen as the same die body where Moja Moja it will stand on top. The lies in an Ambazonian fighter, and that way they become for camp attack the election will be there for inside Boya, where the Republic be organized them. We all know say Moja Moja be the lie. Then just simply catch this boy because the one use the die body for intimidate the population and for use them for fight against ghost town. So they fear for release that body, that die body, because it will prove for our population. Say that the same person that way Moja Moja if he stand on to a die body, we will all know say he because say the picture they don't confirm for the dress with the boy it be well am, and people where they be stand for corner, then see the same thing. Number two, now say the family, they don't be bent, say they go do autopsy. For proof say that boy, you know be just be you know be dying just because they torture you, but because they shoot you with gun. When a lot of public their military they shoot you with gun. So it be be inside custody, where Moja Moja then catch you. Then go pass we register a arrest for inside gendarmerie. So now physical evidence this for war crime. Say Cameroon that they go catch student with no evidence, absolutely zero evidence. Take it go register them, then come back and execute it. They did deny for give it that body. The other boy Jires, where they be catch it for student when a student, they don't go make fake video, put it with pistol, talk say be being a fighter. 
when a person that way they be the campaign for La Republic, this one are people they be even be a, not man not talk say they be for or against the struggle, but they be always be against La Republic to Cameroon, their mass arrest for Calais Calais. Then pick them because they be there for university, they condemn La Republic, their Calais Calais will be there for Econa. So now they think this way where people they fall victim. When you see La Republic, they keep people them for village. The one the way they go come out protest. When you see people that go through hardship, they want the way they wake up talk. Now they want the way La Republic they target them for kill them, use them for intimidate the population because they want me our population be a population of sheep. We will be complete slaves. So we go to monitor the situation for inside Boya and we go to advise our people them, make them be aware of who this Cameroon government them be, their government official them, and their terrorist military forces them. Fellow Ambazonians, as we be done announce, say twentieth May, when a day way La Republic du Cameroon, they be complete that their assimilation process. The poor beer it become for complete way to where Amadou Aijo it be start them. For change the Federal Re Republic of Cameroon into unitary state, poor beer come for complete and now for change and back take the name for La Republic without any concern for the people them for our territory or any regard or respect for our right of self-determination. That day, na a day for national mourning, because na that day then bring the calamity we will do for inside. This 20th May, as we be done banner, make no Ambazonian in no come off for our side, he go participate for this 20th May. The one the way they don't chop money for La Republic, we na they don't sell our people them. Na he will La Republic, he don't force them, then come back, come march for 20th May. The one the for inside inside Momo, we don't share on the good news, how they sold them for Numbeng, the former commando, for that group they call an a TTA. Their commander, Blinky, he ran come with some few soldiers and way he ran come gather them for inside uh, Numbeng. They ran launch this operation. We also come with very good intel from our ambassador the way they did for diaspora. I want to first congratulate the one the way they held up for gather this intel, work on with the one the ground, make it give this intelligence. Our soldier, the Rango carry that operation. They arrest these people the way they come up for inside 20 May. We all we don't celebrate them as a big blow for La Republic. And I be tell when I say, when you catch people them, the reason why you provide them for that arrest, now it determine the real reason why we fight for ground. Since they catch these people, they show that them blinky, he never come out, he talk anything with concern Ambazonia. Every day they ask na money, the family they don't pay money, they de fear for release them. Because around put them for our people and say we know the cash people then for money because when you start go around kidnapping people, this is kidnap. Take people them for the sole purpose for get money. You know if you can talk say that kidnapping them now for Ambazonia. No, that is pure banditry. We know fit day for a struggle way so that they gather themselves now for go hold people them for take money. These are complete black leg, legitimate enablers and collaborators. This one are the people then way if we need for catch them now they one then this was supposed to catch them. So Narango catch the people then now, focus now for take una money. Eventually they don't release the people then. He never advance the struggle in any way. He don't actually make the struggle make all of us we look stupid. So this will be evidence now where the international community will show them with the communication who Naran communicate with these people then. The evidence where their family member they don't provide them so Naran take money for them. Say this struggle, it don't turn at the one way na kidnapping for ransom. This is just a fact. We cannot be going around and arresting people for the purpose of collecting money. If we want for fight war, we need for fight and where? We know if we fight war, then some people that they do na kidnapping for ransom. We the cash people that they deliver. The one who if you kill them, na small small people they will quite away, they don't get nothing for do with this struggle. Last time the the, the one way he make na ID card, na the one who they execute them. The one the way in a correct one the way supposed to do something for them, not the one the way they leave them. So, what is the difference between us now and La Republic? We don't chakara this struggle, only we we. So that they don't be transformed into different things. Then. This is not acceptable. But this is the reality that we face. Our partisanship, during the time of General Ivor, these things will not happen. In those real days, these things will not happen. So, anyway, in any case, this analysis is going to be a topic for another day. But this enablers, the way they don't release them, they don't put out a statement for tank now na poor beer 
and who will blame them? So maybe we we'll listen for the statement where they don't put them outside. Today we will get a complete comprehensive show for address this issue and this conduct. We don't come now for the almost define our struggle for Ambazonia. Uh, today is the fourth of uh, July 2023. Uh, I'm Honorable Jambing, uh, Stephen Andong, the section president for Sibia Momo Fonki. I am here with two other uh, responsible persons from Ngi, who are civil servants, the principal of GTHS Teze Ngi, uh, Mr. Ka, and also the sub delegate for uh, Youth Affairs for Ngi, who is also here with me. We were arrested uh, after the section conference that we had in Nandengi on the 19th of May and followed up with the 20th uh, May celebration. Uh, on the 21st, we left and they're going back to town. So, when I hear now, people then this would then go march to 20th May and they don't arrest them. Amazonian for first fighter them for inside uh, Momo, they don't arrest them as we did so for inside village for inside Amazonia. When a liberated area, now the people then this way they stay and a resident permanent residence in Yaoundé. They, they come for village can't stage things them, they prove them for Cameroonians them and for the international community. Say, wait. Say things and they under control. Say people and they for village where they stand with La Republic and where they stand with Bia. But where no be people ready to stay for inside that very ngi. So this one not, not be just scammers, not be just criminals. These are the real scavengers, the real traitors. These ones are the real traitors. If you needed anybody who have committed high treasons, these are the people. People who claim to be positions who nobody have voted them. Anyway, when I listen for the audio, where they come up for the video, where they don't release them. Life is ending in a few minutes. You have to start running before the minute elapses. Uh, so I also want to use the opportunity to tell the head of state president, Paul Bia, part of our nation, uh, for uh, steadfast love for the people of Cameroon. Uh, because uh, if you look at what these guys are doing, and you look at the kind of president that we have, who have remained peaceful, calling on his sons and daughters to show love to one another and understand that we cannot resolve our individual problems killing one another. Everywhere, in, like it happens in other countries, I think Northwest and Southwest would have been talking of chaos. But they are just to pardon people. And we ourselves, who are elite of this area, go through torture like this for my own brothers. So, I, I so, when I don't hear the dirty talk where this man, these collaborators, these traitors, they, they take shit now for rob and for our face. We all know, say, when a poor beer start for kill people, them. From Julius Akum for Bamenda, the partial beheading of Samsoya ahead for inside Boyo, the torture of our students, them. Collective punishment for inside University of Boya, for inside Bambili, Cast Bambili, for inside ENS Bambili the torture and humiliation of our lawyers, the banding of the consortium. These are actions taken by Paul Bia that led to our boys standing up to defend the dignity of the Anglophone man, to fight for their nationality, to embrace the culture of Ambazonia, the identity of Ambazonia. So when you see these thieves coming out to change the story, to paint Paul Bia as a father, somebody who cannot go out to kill his people and is pardoning people. Now, who go pad give justice for the picking the way Paul Bia it and disappear? Him? For Mancho BBC, where he never lift stone for shoot police, he did for instance Kuningi. Now, who go give justice for those people? Them For Bebe Mata, five months old picking, where Camaro military he come for his skin, he open bullet, finish bullet for his head. Now we go bring justice for them for Ngarbu. Now we go bring justice for the Pekin where they don't kill them for Babanki, for Boyo. The one where they kill them for Ekona. The one where they don't kill them for Akwaya. Now we go bring justice for those people. So when we catch people who are worse than a Tanganji poor, we now see clearly link between the Cameroon military operations and people like this. In the case of Clovis, who have gone around to meet even the head of the, the Momo, uh, the, 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 the head of the Momo parliamentarians. I will come and give you people the detail of the mafia that happened 
before these people have been released. I'll do so in, in a live show. But our people should know that these are the reasons why we ourselves have lost this war. Because you cannot arrest people like this and let them to go. You cannot. You have to put them through try, show the war what they have committed, demonstrate why you are fighting this war. It's either we don't have the Nkanas or we have it. We cannot be playing with, with fire. If we stand that we are fighting a war, it's life and death. You have not only put your life at risk, you have put the life of every Ambazonians. Let every Ambazonian soldier know that they burn our villages, they kill our people because you are fighting for something. You are exerting our sovereignty. No individual soldier have the right to arrest an enabler, a collaborator, and set that person free. You don't have the right. When you do so, you are responsible for the conduct of this war, for the definition of this war, and the end result of this war. So this thing where some people that are build and for their mind say, Nama thing, Nama own army this, Nama own force. For they do things at your own convenience. But where they affect all man. Tomorrow you say, me man not talk about my own thing. Go talk about your own group. You go talk for your, about your own group. But you call your name say Ambazonia, you fight for all man for Ambazonia. Partisanship. How did we get here? My people, how did we get here? We blinky, it don't turn down a thief man because this is thief. This is kidnapping. I declare this total kidnapping for ransom. And look at the blow it has given to our country. Look at the blow. This is a big disgrace. In any case, the struggle continue. We will come back and we will define this issue. And it further just reinforce what I've been telling you all along. It's time for us to rethink. It's time for us to reset the Ambazonian war, our trajectory. And it's time for us to look back, relook everything we are doing in a realistic manner. And, and, and trust me, all the so-called organizations that we have, all of them, they have all been compromised by partisanship, brandingness that have led us to where we are today. So I have, I'm doing a series that takes us through our history and the second episode will continue today. The feedback I've had from researchers and professors in Ambazonia have just been so fantastic. And I really appreciate the input of every veteran Southern Cameroonians who have aided me in my material of research and to put this thing out there. It's very, very important that our people know. So I'll just give a short recap of the first episode of that special edition while I'm put up outside. Our country, Ambazonia, West Cameroon, what an Anglophone area, whatever name you choose for column. British Cameroon, IBB born now for 1916, when the German Cameroon IBB divided. So since the time we IBB born, we IBB joined and administered as part of Nigeria, an integral part of Nigeria, even though we had the status. We did not have any capital, we did not have any administrative headquarter. Boya was not the capital in 1916. Our international borders with La Republic du Cameroon was as certain, and we were like that until the Second World War and the League of Nations was transformed into the United Nations. That is when politics actually started by those of our children who were in Nigeria mainly. So they were mainly like people who were in the diaspora in one way. The first political movement where it will be established, it will be established by Dr. Emmanuel Endele for Lagos, where it will be now the Cameroon Youth League. After it started that political party, the British government they be decided they could do direct integration of the southern Cameroons into Nigeria Eastern region. So then be decide for choose two traditional leaders them for appoint them, meet them be like member them for a legislature for inside the legislative house where they for Eastern Nigeria. So they be appoint, they be appoint two chief them. One it be, be na chief Manga Williams for Victoria, where una, where the Republican can change the name say Limbe for just in case person no know him. The other one has been a fun, Galaga the second, who is there for Bali. Now the two fund them, this way they be appointed. So because they, after they appoint these two fund them, me them be waiting, they call and say native authorities, the elites, the way they be there for diaspora, for Lagos, they not be, be happy. So Endele, he decide for talk, say, he go now begin, oh, he better me go join back now the Republic, me go join the Republic. He be to use that 
campaign now because say ebb first of all angry say they don't leave them where they live with diaspora go appoint na traditional ruler them me they can represent them for inside me they can represent we for inside uh, Unugu. so this political campaign we make them it triggered the united nation they send a mission me they really can't find because our territory it been a international territory me they really can't find which we want them the international mission they can meet up all the leaders and then talk for them and then they conclude and say and the it talks say no in already one will go for cameroon he want to say we will become a regional autonomy we will get regional autonomy inside nigeria they know for no way even talk for that united nation their delegation say we want an independence they're not advanced i mean any way and any shape or form they want to have a show now some of them mistakes them we don't bring it for wait for place who did it today so the united nation their mission then go back with the accession, say we to one time na autonomy, so you not be ready get anything for do and with wait we they fulfill do am for we we they be the expected maybe the people that don't be ripe for go for independence. So Nigeria end up appointing Muna as the first minister from our side for inside Nigeria as minister of works. After they appoint Muna, because of discrimination and other politics the way they go on, Muna he resigned. And our own regional representative, them, where they be there for that house of Onugu, then decide say they go all they go come up for that house of Onugu if they not put back Muna for a ministerial position. Instead, for the Nigerian mainly Igbo politician, they for put back Muna as a minister for solve their problem, then decide for vote for kick out Muna from their political party because they both Nigerians and Ambazonians they be done form one political party where they call and say NCNC. That means Nigerian Cameroon National Council. It will be formed by Namdi Azikiwe together with uh, our politician, the way they be there for Nigeria. So, as they kick Muna for that, out of that political party, all the Southern Cameroonians then decide to withdraw from that political party and to declare benevolent neutrality for inside parliament. And come out, then go create their own political party and then take oath, say they go cut all links. With Nigerian political party them. But some of our politicians they be see to be involved for some pressure group they call an uh, Nigerian Action Group. So it led for Jua Ian Foncha for create their own political party, leaving Endele Ian Muna for begin run their own political party and eventually as they start to come back for home, Muna it be also abandoned Endele for join Jongu Foncha their own political party that and more for the special edition where it is run right now and i will continue for bring one of those historic uh happenings for the meantime we will continue for hold the four pillars of our liberation struggle respect the ghost town religiously and make sure that our economic sabotage it be in total in force and our people then be alert as we fight and continue this struggle for our right of self-determination <laughs> Daniel, looking out for you, signing off.